जी कमरन साहब Assam has always produced brave soldiers who inherit the spirit of Lassit Borfukot in their blood. They are always ready to live life with pride, honor and always ready to die for the country. As a result, it has been always observed that whenever there is any kind of recruitment rally takes place for the Indian Armed Forces, the youths of Assam comes forward in huge numbers. but it is very unfortunate that the success rate of the assamese youths are very poor due to lack of training for physical tests and proper preparation for the written examinations conducted by indian armed forces there is no doubt about the physical and mental ability of the assamese youths but it has been felt during various field surveys that proper physical theoretical training is very much important to motivate and create awareness among the youths of assam choosing a career is one of the most significant difficult and critical decision of one's life a correct choice of a career can catapult one to the zenith of personal glory similarly a wrong choice could make or could destroy his career and lead him to personal gloom i was lucky i joined sunny school at a very young age where i was groomed for developing my personal potential to the best of my capabilities and i was groomed for a career in the armed forces so it was but natural that when i finished my high secondary i joined the national defense academy thereafter the indian military academy and then was commissioned as an officer in the armed forces I had a very satisfying career in the armed forces. I led a very satisfying family life and I re- realized all my potential to the best of my capabilities. It afforded me an exciting and adventurous career with a life full of entertainment and adventure. In short, I can say that I realized my dreams. As I approached my retirement, Luckily and cursed by my wife I planned that post retirement I devote my time to encourage and spare the youth from the northeast to join the armed forces This training that we are planning in the IQ Guwahati one is for officers that is for the candidates who are planning to join the armed forces as officers for them we will prepare them for the written examination of the upsc and the ssb that is the service selection board next is the training of youngsters who wants to join the armed forces as jawans test that are required of them for recruitment as jawan is a 1.6 km run there are pull ups where at least they should be able to do six pull ups then jumping a 9 feet ditch and walking over a zigzag apart from this there is a written test for which we give them enough guidance and coaching and also what they should prepare about their medical so that in the medically they are fit i have observed or similarly all of us have observed that the youngsters from the assam are not able to join the armed forces or the civil services it's not that they are not fit or they don't have the potential the basic reason why they are not able to join the armed forces or the civil services are lack of awareness lack of facilities lack of motivation and lack of guidance by others so what is required of them is to that they should be provided the correct exposure the correct guidance and motivation and there should be institutes which are able to guide them IQ Guwahati became the pioneering organization to think on the burning need of a training academy to train and motivate the youths of Assam to join the Indian Armed Forces and as a result of positive effort from the team of IQ Guwahati has initiated the training academy for pre-recruitment training of for defense services under the leadership of retired colonel Bolen Sondra Das IQ Guwahati team approached all the retired veterans of Assam from the Indian Armed Forces and the academy has been formally started followed by a press meet at guwahati press club
Honorable Chief Minister of Assam Shri Torun Gogoi in his budget speech had announced a scheme for initiating training centers to train the unemployed youths of Assam to join the Indian Armed Forces. As a result, Directorate of Employment and Craftsman Training, Government of Assam, has taken a noble initiative to create awareness and motivation by providing fees pre recruitment training for Indian Army for the educated unemployed youth of Assam. Through a few numbers of training camps to assist them in preparing for different recruitment process of Indian Armed Forces and other paramilitary forces of India in the ranks of soldier, general duty and technical branches and other equipment process. Firstly, I have got a great hope for the Northeast boys and even girls. Now I am not talking about girls, I am talking about boys. They have got a great potentiality to be good soldiers. Mm. I will only request even Indian Army that give more vacancies to the Northeast. I think vacancies with less. You give only five vacancies, you will find 500 boys are still standing in front of you. I feel uh, vacancies should be given little more to the Northeast in consideration of the place, the backwardness that Northeast has still got, or in consideration of the insurgencies going around. Mm-hmm. Yeah, people are joining, yes. people are joining because they are getting frustrated. Not inside, they have got great love for insurgency, not they have got a different aim or philosophy that Assam can be brought up through insurgency activity, not that. Because they need jobs sometimes. It has become job oriented. And I will say army is is one opportunity which not his boys and girl, boys particularly can do avail, they can excel. Exactly. Give they have them got tremendous potential. Tremendous potential they have got. Give them opportunity. Army is an opportunity. Give them opportunity. They can make good soldiers. Very good soldiers. Your views I that. will agree with you about tough, but I don't agree with you about harsh. It is not harsh. To make a soldier is not an easy job. Yes. A soldier is not only physically fit man, a soldier to be mentally fit mm. to fight a war for the country. Mm. And that, but I can tell you, no, I, I don't agree it is harsh. That much training is required. But our Assamese boys, Northeast boys are very fit to undergo that training. We have gone through that training, all of us. Mm. And today after retirement, I feel I'm a very... I can fit in if I can face any situation exactly. because I am you from army. You feel more accomplished. I feel more accomplished. I feel more confident. Exactly. Qualities, he should be mentally first very prepared. Mental fitness. Physically, he should be good. Medical requirement, of course, is required. They should fit themselves that made medically they are fit. But medical fitness and physical fitness is not enough. Mental fitness is very much required. I am very sure they can do well. Some training, I will insist again. Exactly. Government should encourage some training institute so that a organized training is given mm. when the recruitment process takes place. At least one month training to these boys should be given before they go for recruitment test. Assam has always performed very poor in the recruitment process of the Indian Armed Forces like Indian Army, Indian Navy, Indian Air Force and other paramilitary forces like CRPF, CISF, BSF, ITBP, Assam Rifle of national level and state level as compared to the other states of India. The educated unemployed youths of Assam are always lacking behind to perform a good result because of the lack of quality training and guidance. There is a basic need to create awareness and motivation among the job seekers to groom them to acquire essential skills to perform in the recruitment process of the Indian Armed Forces. The training academy for Indian Armed Forces initiated by IQ Guwahati with all necessary infrastructures at Sonapur has been providing training to the youths under the guidance of retired Indian Army officers. The boys in the training camp have to practice running from 10 to 15 km daily in the morning and the evening. They have to practice 9 feet ditch, zigzag, pull up and other necessary physical activities. required for the recruitment process of Indian Armed Forces. The trainees have undergone various drills for the development of their physical and mental strength. 
It was a good sign that during the process of 21 days training the trainees has shown tremendous improvement in their performance. IQ body was established in the year 2007 with an aim and objective to create a platform for the youth of Assam yes. for facing all types of competitive examination in national level as well as state level. So we found that we should give them a proper platform because especially in the defense services they are not been trained properly mm-hmm. and we are fi- we are trying to find out a way to help the youth of uh, youth of assam because there, there is a large number of youth uh, available in assam they are not getting the job uh, scenario properly in assam they should be motivated they should be uh, there should be a atmosphere since uh, we have started the organization in 2007 we found that in due course of time we have conducted several survey why the youths of assam not been um, joining the indian armed forces we have talked to all the retired army personnel in available in guwahati and assam and we tried to find found, find out what exactly the cause of rejection is so finally uh, after the survey we found that everybody were in, in in the present in the state of mind that mm-hmm. these guys these boys should be given a proper platform for exactly. training mm-hmm. they should be motivated they should be there should be a play, uh, atmosphere mm-hmm. they we have to change the mindset of the youths of assam exactly. they are quite promising they have all the potential in their human body and soul uh, first of all uh, we are getting quite satisfactory support from the retired army officers mm-hmm. armed personnel and they are giving us good suggestions they are guiding us and in due course of time we have moved to the government of assam to certain departments like directorate of employment and craftsmanship training and we are quite thank- 100% thankful to this department that they have helped us to conduct this type of training for the youths of assam for joining the indian armed forces and that is not enough because there are lots of youths available in assam we can con- control we can conduct training for a limited number of candidates there are yes. 16 lakhs unemployed youths available in assam mm. so th- this process should be encouraged this process should be go- going on and uh, so that we can make available the training to all the trainees all the youths of assam the assamese youth are always welcome to the armed forces as any other It is also not correct to assume that they are not capable or they lack the potential to be soldiers nor even that they are not charged with patriotic emotions potentially the assamese youth is as good as of any their counterpart elsewhere for the armed forces why they lack is the awareness about the armed forces and the procedures to get into it so there is a definite need to put in concert effort to bring awareness about the life and glamour in uniform to inspire motivate and guide the youth to join the armed forces what is needed is a clear cut plan to motivate and inspire the youth to take up the armed forces as a career and reap the benefits that accrue with a career in uniform academically one need not be a genius or nor is expected to be a super athlete to be a soldier all that is required is that one should have roughly got about 50% or above in his or her metric undergraduate or graduate level examinations physically one should be enough to do some hard work exact level standard can be found out from various publications and advertisements in print and electronic media and also in various websites of the armed forces in the internet if you see the other ranks joan and others and if you see large number of boys are opting large number of every recruitment really when you go the for if there is a five vacancy there will be 500 candidates so there is no dart of boys wanting to do the army there are two issues in this where that in in case of jawans there is fixed ratio like assam will have so many west bengal will have so many this is based on something called rmp recruitable male population this has been fixed even around independence time so i do not know how this fa- this po- uh, ratio has fixed the vacancies for our boys of northeast boys are less if you see the vacancy compared to punjab yes. for punjab you will see there will be punjab regiment 
secularism and uh, even Punjab and just like. So I think in once upon a time, Britishers had this, this thing. Probably there was a concept of martial race. That's why number of vacancies were allotted to more. So now having said that the last number boys are opting, you go for any recruitment really. Now we have to fight to get this RMP enhanced. Yes. Government must take up the case. Mm -hmm. I feel that now we must have the RMP ratio, which I really do not know how it has been worked out. But as for population, the number of boys, if we assume the population is 3.25 crores. Number of boys whose vacancies are given, I think, I think is less than Punjab or some other merciless concept. Okay. So that's why we have to get the vacancies there. Lack of institution, but in having institution is already not on point. You must have sufficient people, yes. willing people to support. Now that's why I was telling uh, in, in, with the IQ director that we must have this retired officers giving and training them. Having so many training institutions may not do. We should have four or five. Exactly. We should tell them, given wide publicity. Now many people cannot come and stay in Guwahati for 10 days, 15 days, they have to pay. Can government help them? Ki anyone who tries to pass the NDA written exam yes. will be given X amount of money for their coaching and training. Yeah, I'll request everyone who, who wants to make a career should try to join the armed forces. And in this case, I'll also tell of the omen entry officers. We just do not have any omen. Indian Army must have got about more than 1,000 officers. Lady officer, I have not come across, across even one. They can, the ladies can join as the lawyers, they can join as the dental surgeon, they can join as the engineer. Yes. After passing graduation, after doing the engineering, but uh, somehow that interest is not coming. So in this aspect, you must give a lot of, a lot of importance. The, we must get some ladies coming in there. They will be do, doing the same thing. They are doing a very good job. And similarly for school, we must try to publicize in the school and colleges, uh, this thing. And you must take help of the NCC institution. Yes. They are willing to help. The army units give coaching. You can approach 4 core, 21 core. For guidance, they will do. They are willing to help. There, there is no doubt. Looking into the scenario of recruitment of the Indian Armed Forces, few retired veterans from the Armed Forces express their concern for the need of training centers in Assam. Few youths of Assam are taking the training required for recruitment in the Indian Armed Forces. The aspirant cadres who took the training in IQ Guwahati have successfully qualified for the written examination. Namaskar, my name is David Das. How are you from IQ Guwahati? I've been here for two months. How do you feel about IQ Guwahati here? When we were in IQ Guwahati, we were in the first day. 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 क्योंकि उस दिन हम लोग हम लोग का जो घर में आदमी है उस उसको छोड़ के आके कुछ बुरा लगा था बहुत याद आया था उन लोग को उसके बाद नया नया दोस्त दोस्त के साथ एडजस्ट नहीं हुआ था लेकिन थोड़ा दो तीन दिन के बाद पूरा एडजस्ट हो गया पूरा बहुत अच्छा लगा तो आपको यहाँ डिफेंस सर्विसेज आके रिलेटेड आपको क्या क्या यहाँ सीखने को मिला नया और जो कैम में था हम लोग उस दिन में बहुत ड्रिल या कुछ ऑप्टिकल और रनिंग तो सुबह होता ही है और थ्योरी क्लास भी मिलता है था और ड्रिल में जो आइटम रहा फुट ड्रिल फुट ड्रिल में सावधान विश्राम और दाई मोड़ बाई मोड़ पीछे मोड़ ये सब सीख गया मेरा नाम शांतनु रावा है आपको आई क्यू गुवाहाटी में आके कैसा लग रहा है मेरे आई क्यू गुवाहाटी ट्रेनिंग कैम्प में आई का बहुत अच्छा लगा क्योंकि इधर में बहुत कुछ सीख लिया मैंने क्योंकि पहले घर में ये लोग इधर क्या क्या सीखा हमको मालूम नहीं था इधर आकर बहुत सीख लिया क्या कि कितने सोलह सौ मीटर में कितना पॉइंट कितना टाइम लगता है और जिगजाग पुल आप कैसे मारना है कैसे क्या करना है सब लोग सीख लिया इधर सब कुछ फिर आसाम का लड़का इधर बहुत डिस्ट्रिक्ट से आया है उधर बहुत आ, क्या है फिजिकल टेस्ट में बहुत पास कर लिया इधर फिर जो लोग इधर नहीं आ रहे हैं वो भी वो नेक्स्ट बेस्ट में 
इधर आइए उधर ट्रेनिंग कर जाइए फिर आपका फिजिकल कैसे होता है आपका फिर अपने अब जाने के वो जब मैंने वो मैट्रिक पास कर लिया तब से मैं सोच रहा हूँ कि मैं इंडियन आर्मी कैसे ज्वाइन करूँ या एयरफोर्स में कैसे ज्वाइन करूँ इधर आईको ट्रेनिंग में सब कुछ सिखा देता है यहाँ पर आकर अच्छा लगा क्योंकि नई नई शिक्ष सीखा है हमको और नई 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 डिसिप्लिन और हम लोग डिसिप्लिन सिखाया कि हम लोग तो गांव में जब रहे थे वो, प, वो सब पता नहीं था वो बाहर जब आई क्यू ऑफिस जरिए हमें बाहर आया हम लोग सब सिखाया नए नए सीख्स तो ये जो ट्रेनिंग प्रोग्राम था ये असम में पहली बार हो रहा है डिफेंस सेक्टर में क्योंकि असम का लड़का को अभी तक इतना अभी भी इतना मालूम नहीं है कि डिफेंस में जाने के लिए वहाँ पर रिक्रूटमेंट में क्या होता है तो हमारे इस ट्रेनिंग प्रोग्राम के जरिए हम ये मैसेज देना चाहते हैं कि हम यहाँ पे सिखाएंगे आपको रिक्रूटमेंट में जाने के लिए वहाँ पे इंटरव्यू फेस करने के लिए वहाँ पे पास करने के लिए आपको कैसे तैयार होना है कैसे आपको क्लियर करना है हम इस ट्रेनिंग के दौरान हम सिखाएंगे क्योंकि अभी भी असम के लड़के को कुछ मालूम नहीं सिर्फ हमारे गाँव के लड़के को यही मालूम है डिफेंस में जाने के लिए दौड़ना ही है तो इसीलिए उन लोगों को कुछ इसके बाद मालूम नहीं होता है इसीलिए जब भी कुछ रैली में जाते हैं लड़के लोग क्या होता है कि वहाँ पे जाके वो लोग दौड़ में क्लियर होता आता है फिजिकल में भी क्लियर हो जाता है लेकिन बाद में आके रिटेन में रुक जाता है तो हमारे इस ट्रेनिंग में फिजिकल के साथ हम रिटेन का भी ध्यान रखते हैं क्योंकि लड़के को रिटेन क्लियर करना है अभी भी बहुत अवेयरनेस काम है आसाम में इसके लिए अभी भी लड़के को उसी अवेयरनेस क्रिएट करने के लिए हम यहाँ पर ट्राई कर रहे हैं मेरा नाम हावला बिजरे का रिटायर्ड आर्मी और मैं खुश हूँ कि आई के ओ गोडी धन्यवाद देता हूँ जिसकी दौलत से मैं ये आर्मी का ट्रेनिंग देने के लिए मौका मिला और जो भी ट्रेनर जो भी ट्रेनिंग दिया हूँ सक्सेसफुल हुआ है उन्होंने और अभी तो काफ़ी लड़का अभी रिक्रूट ट्रेनिंग कर भी रहा है ट्रेनिंग सेंटर के दौरान उसके बाद मैं आप लोगों को ये बता सकता हूँ कि ट्रेनिंग में मैंने फिजिकल फिटनेस ऑप्टिकल्स और डील्स और एक मनोरंजन की प्रोग्राम भी रखा है और हर चीज़ को उपभोग किया सभी ने और लड़का खुश हुआ और उनके साथ सबसे पहले तो उन्होंने ये सोचा था कि ये नहीं कर पाऊँगा ऐसा कुछ नहीं है आर्मी के दौरान मैं भी जब गया था मैं भी सोचा था कि ये नहीं कर सकता हूँ लेकिन जब मुझे महसूस हुआ ये कोई बड़ी बात नहीं है फट्टी होने के बाद ट्रेनिंग के दौरान कष्ट तो होता ही है लेकिन कष्ट होने के बाद धीरे धीरे आदमी को महसूस होता है कि मैं कर पाऊंगा और धीरे धीरे ट्रेनर बन जाता है और उसके बाद अपने लाइफ बना लेता है 